We're planning a June wedding. You and me, it's not gonna happen. Why didn't he go for me? I try so hard, and I'm never the one. The last thing I wanted to do was bring her up. <laughs> She's not a puppet. She doesn't exist for your amusement, for you to feed on whenever you want to. Sure she does. Can I just borrow your date? Oh, uh -huh. I don't really dance. Stefan. Riding to his castle on his white horse. I mean, stay away from Caroline. A double date it is. Okay. <laughs> so, we will see you tonight. Okay. Like sports cars, they're too hard to make out in. My He's actually busy flirting with your daughter. Don't underestimate the allure Time of darkness, Stefan. Even the purest hearts are drawn to it. Caroline, why don't you come and dance with me? I think that someday you'll meet someone new and you'll fall madly in love. See, I've been replaced by another blonde. Give me that look for it. She's cute. Ah, I don't, I don't hug. Oh, get over Sweet. yourself. All summer, she's had this pit in her stomach about Stefan. Oh, my God. 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 O
watch the pictures. You are a much hotter person. And it comes and it goes. You. you might not remember, but I do. You are better than this. You are not this person. Besides, Caroline said she'd call me every hour to make sure I was okay. And, uh, I actually me last night. Sounds like you're always there for me. And hatred is a sharp knife held by the blade. So let me be there for you. It's cutting in your palm to you feel Dance with me. I'm your sober sponsor, and I heard that you needed help. In your eyes with a righteous <laughs> rage till the ashes no, blow away. Have you? Oh my god, Catherine, seriously? <sighs> that wasn't exactly a yes. Love is a thing no. that you can't be you are fine. You are lost. He's great in bed. Though you try with all your mind. Slept with you Catherine? I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Why did you? Scram. I invited her. Caroline agreed to help you get Elena back. You don't know? She screwed Klaus. That's the best thing she didn't deserve that. Caroline, you are a horrible person, okay? You are you are thoughtless, you're shallow, you're completely undependable. <laughs> hey, right? hey I, am, I am vulnerable. Don't be mean. You know what? Now that I think about it, I have no idea what Klaus saw in you. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> because I know that you see the best in me. Oh, no, no, no. You are the second person that I didn't come here to dance with. Okay. Caroline has feelings for Stefan. She's really starting to great. Who volunteers themselves for witchy electric shock therapy? Me, and I would do it for you, too. Look. Okay. too hard. He's gonna lose everything. Stop! I'll be fine, Stefan. Besides, you do the same for me, right? You better believe that I will give Stephanie back out of the bottom if you fail to kill Tom Avery. Well, I don't fail at things. So do it again, and I'll kill you too. Stephen, I'm still here. Uh, hey, listen to my voice. I'm with you. Can you hear me? He's one of the best people that I know. And when it comes to saving his life, yes, I will do just about anything. Stand the thought of putting Stefan's life in anyone's hands but your own. Something's really important to me. I guess that's what makes you, you. Here, take my hand. Is everything okay? Well, you know how sometimes you feel crazy if and you call me and I tell you that you're not crazy? Down, even though most of the time I am. Well, I need you to tell me that Will I'm not crazy. Uh, no promises. Share a team, Selena. If you're awkward when I accuse you and Stefan of being makeout buddies again. I didn't want you to think any less of me. Will you be the kind yes. to hear my call? Caroline Forbes was here right now. We would both Will be laughing. Will you be the kind to hear my call? She, she said that she could bring people back. Tell me that she can bring them back. What about Caroline? With you, wow. I feel you really don't see it, do you? Is there somebody who I would know before you even had your first date with Caroline? Oh, good oh sure. I've been hard to break. We need each other. We need to be together. With you, I feel myself so and shame. So that is why I so Please be good to me. Pick up the phone, me. and I hear your voice, and you tell me that you I'll are I'll be good to you. Fix it. Because I am not going to. guys know Stefan. He and I went to high school. Together. If the night nice my best friend. Live my old life with my old friends. I couldn't go near Mystic Will Falls you be or the Lane or stay strong. If I my spirit starts to break. Well, you couldn't hear in all those messages Will that I left the you? Kind you couldn't hear that it was completely and... falling apart without you? And I'm here trying to figure out why, because I can't see what's worth caring about. Tell that to Stefan, who clearly needs hard to break. Come on, then go ahead, just go. Start over. With you, I feel myself Right, if just a little part of you came back to check on Elena, who's had a terrible four months, or Laurie, who just came back from the dead, or me. With you, I 
feel myself so If even just a small little part of you came back to check on me Salvatore Brothers is in the cards for both of us. Do you want to protect me? Newsflash, I don't need your protection. And more importantly, I don't want to be good to me. I'm a thing. I'll be good to you. Okay. Um, why did you have a thing for me? We said that we would never talk about this again. Look, Caroline, please just talk to me. Please Tell me how. Tell me why. Please just make me understand how it is that I missed it. Like, oh, what kind of stupid question is that? Why did I have a thing for you? I don't know, Stefan. Maybe it's because I thought you were worth having a thing for. Yeah. I know what you felt, Stefan. Because if even just a little tiny piece of you felt for me what I was starting to feel for you, you wouldn't have walked away. Why don't you just date her put us all out of her misery? Because I don't think about her that way. She's my friend. Don't make anything doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Not unlike Caroline's feelings for Stefan. Caroline needed me and I ran away. So. At the very least, just believe that I believe it will work. It's safe with me, Stefan. When I'm gone, Caroline is going to need you. Even if she doesn't know it, she's going to need someone to help her move on with her life. Someone to just make her smile. Promise me that you will do that, Stefan. because you asked him to look after me. Sweetheart, that's not true. Mom, I heard you talking to him in the hospital. You asked him to look after me and make me smile and help me move on with my life. <sighs> She's not the one. She was. You wouldn't have to ask. It's Stefan. I, I want to talk to you about all this. I do, but... Maybe when we're alone after you've had a chance to get through the day. Yeah, God, of course. Um, this is not the time. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey. Don't be sorry. Explain what I feel for her. But it is something. And yeah, maybe all love isn't true love in the messed up way that you and I have experienced it, but I think this could turn into something even better. Stefan had said the right thing earlier, would that have changed your mind? By the time you figured out how you felt about her, it's too late. Thank you. Caroline. Stop. I don't know when it became more than friendship, but it did. It scared me, so I pushed it away. You're Caroline's emotional trigger problem, Stefan. It doesn't really matter how far away you are. 
you're still you. Kind, loyal, who with one look can convince me that I'm not crazy. That's the Stefan that I fell for, and that's the Stefan who can write me back. This is me. Forcing you to let go. Come on, Kayla. Just let go. First step, convince her that my humanity is still off. She wants sexy step in time. I'm making you nervous. Help you if you let me. Just please take my hand. You're a good friend of Stefan. I hope someday there'll be more than that. Yeah, start to move, Caroline. I want to be. You should be here. Come closer. Come on, a friend. Stefan's complicated. My boyfriend is never good. For He's not my boyfriend. You're avoiding me. What? I made a list. Of all the things that I've done since I fell for you. It started last summer when I moved away. I started obsessing over where you were, wondering why you weren't returning my calls. I told you I hated you when I felt ignored. I missed my mom's final because I was kissing you, and then she died. And all I needed was for you to tell me that you felt something. And you didn't. And it affected me so deeply that I did the worst possible thing a vampire could do. And it turned out to be me. And when I thought I couldn't do anything else, I got you to turn off. That's what falling for somebody is. Caroline was the one. Yep. <laughs> How'd Stefan take it? Oh, you know, totally supportive. And just wanted to make sure that I was okay. At least that's how I'm hoping it goes when I tell him today. Stefan distraction machine. <sighs> I know, it's insane. Magical baby so transplants. The one you love to wear. I didn't really know what to say either anymore. Because I love you. I guess there is the right thing to say after all. Listen, no matter how weird this all gets, I'm here for you. We're gonna get through this together. Are you sure? It could get 
really weird. Okay. And I love you too. What's it gonna be? Uncle Steffi. <laughs> Unky Steffi? Mm. I got it. Creepy dude who hangs out with mom. He's not dad. Ooh. Hey, be safe today. Okay? I finally got you back to reality. I want to keep you in one piece. Don't you worry, I will. The only constant I had was Caroline. Are you talking to me or are you talking to the fries? Do you want me to lie to you? Mm. <laughs> Hi. I love you too. You know, it's best to keep the father in the loop in situations like this. Would you like for me to contact her boyfriend? I'm her boyfriend. I knew she was sick, but I left anyway. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Caroline, and you don't want her to die. Stars. Enjoying each other's company. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna leave her. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm happy. But I totally get it if you want to run for this. I'm not going anywhere. Because I love you. Once you've been marked, she'll chase you to the ends that are. Now where I'm supposed to be, which is with my girlfriend who just gave birth. Instead, I'm running from a hunter who won't stop chasing me until she's put down. Miss, I will come back for you. <laughs> I have to keep moving if I want to stay ahead of her. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Please, Caroline. As you say you do, why aren't you with her now? Stefan, yes, my boyfriend, who's currently running for his life while I sit here playing. Worst case scenario. Caroline. Why? Do you still have feelings for her? I know that you did once, too. I promise I will only do it. Just you and me? Which means that I can't be with my girlfriend as long as Reyna is alive. And you just told me she can never die. So we have to figure out another way to get rid of her. Or we need to get rid of this scar. I took someone that you love. Damon. And Karen. I'm familiar with the sensation of watching Stefan and Caroline from the outside. Well, except for the part where Stefan ditched Caroline to travel around the world. Stepping up for an old friend, especially since you're planning on marrying his ex. What are you trying to write? An apology. I wish that things were different, but it's safer this way. Never meant to hurt you. And I wish you all the happiness in the world. A chance to go back and make things right with Caroline. Caroline, you'd be with her when things were safe. When I got locked up. After you get home from City Hall on Friday, is that when she's going to start sleeping in your bed? If you want to talk about Stefan, it's okay, right? We don't have to pretend that he doesn't exist. Especially now that he's showing up at our doorstep. I didn't have anything to say to him then, and I don't have anything to say about him now. Why couldn't you just stay away from us? I only came back for Caroline, yeah. I know. But it sounds like she didn't want that, so why don't you just stay away from her, too? That's what I want to stay. No, I do not want to see Stefan, okay? I just want to know, you left things unfinished. Oh, things are finished. He finished them when he just Ashland his way out of town three years ago. Did you see see if you needed anything. You want to be helpful? Then do your thing and run away. Carried that scar with me for three years. I've lived through this before. So all of a sudden, the past three years have just been a living hell for you? I saw the postmarks on your letters, Stefan. Paris, Marrakesh, Bora Bora. I'm shocked you even had time to write between escaping certain death and sipping my ties. Meanwhile, I was so desperate, I called Klaus for help, who's nowhere to be found. that we get moving and we stay moving now. We? There's no such thing as we, Stefan. There hasn't been for a very long time. You are. The guy that's in love with Caroline Forbes. I love you. Not an option that I'm willing to entertain. You hurt me more than anyone else has ever hurt me. I loved you. No. Love you. I should get going. You're not coming with me? I thought that my love for Caroline was so strong that I would do anything to protect it. But then I realized 
That's not love, David. I'm about to say, just say when this is over. that you and Stefan are living right now. So is that what made you go rogue? The fact that Stefan and I are happy? No, I'm happy that you're happy. I am. Caroline Elizabeth Forbes, will you do me the honor of wearing this engagement ring <laughs> as a Token of my love. <laughs> I want you to marry me. Yes, the June wedding! I hated us being on the opposite side of the fight today. Sort of engaged person shorthand for good luck and I'm with you in spirit? Yeah, I think it's I love you. I love you too. Some help? No, I'm not putting you in any more danger, Caroline. Two vampires are back. I remember the last time that we were at this carnival. I didn't know how I could possibly deal with an eternity of being a vampire. And you told me the only way to get through it is to tell yourself that you're strong enough. Every day. Stefan, you're strong enough. Listen, until this is all over, there is no us. Stefan will find them somehow. Yeah, well, if you're so sure that he'd be driving without me, he'd still be wearing his ring. Stefan, he will be the man that I have always loved. He's gotten through Rivers. Of course Street. you want to believe that. Because if you didn't, you'd be forced to admit to yourself that you and Stefan are through. This is but we're engaged, Caroline. That means we're in this together. You and I had a deal, too. 
remember? We were supposed to spend our lives together. One day you're going to wake up and realize that you don't even remember what happiness is. It's not fun. I made a mistake. I'm here to convince you to marry me. And I'll throw it all away. Till death do us part. That Damon means more to you than I do. And then why are you here? Because I love you, Stefan. The other you, the good you, but this quarter of a man I'm staring at isn't you. Not even we'll love each other forever or we won't. We'll make our relationship work or we won't. I'm dead. Have I offended you somehow? No. But you're important because you're Stefan's girl. Your brother Please come you. home. I can't do that. Well, I'm not letting you run. And I've thrown it all away. Is that what you think of me? <laughs> that all I care about is our wedding. Look, I don't know what to think. I don't know how to deal with that. give up. You are going to keep fighting. You are going to live. You are going to stay alive so you can make all of this right. <laughs> It's just when I think about what our lives are supposed to look like now. I just can't see it. Ten years from now, 20, 50, we're going to be living entirely different lives and we can't just ignore that. Doesn't mean we have to just throw all this away because it's not what we wanted or expected. I love you so much. Is ending this the answer to your problems? I'm doing it for you. Don't you dare say that this is about me. This has nothing to do with me. Your walk of atonement and your guilt, your need to be a martyr to your past, that is all for you. Be honest. What future can we have? I don't know. I never knew. And that used to be. Exciting. It might not be as soon as mommy promised. Why? Well, people who love each other don't always get married. It doesn't mean they don't love each other. It just doesn't always work out that way. Devin and I are having some issues. Devin told me that he needed to go on some spirit walk to God knows where, figure out if he to be with me. Mm. Well, in his tiny human brain, I'm sure he thinks he's protecting you. He doesn't believe he's worthy of someone like you, Caroline. You felt that way about Elena. I need Stefan just as much as she needed you. I don't want to drag her down with me. Marry me. What? I don't expect you to believe that I'm sorry or that I love you just because I say it. I need to show you. Marry me. I thought you had to figure things out. I did. I figured out that I'm an idiot. Intellectually challenged, maybe even blind. I couldn't see that everything that I was looking for was right here in you. I have a lifetime of work to do to make things right. But I can't imagine doing it without you. to grow old with my best friend. It means I get to help my wife raise her two beautiful children and their children after that. It means I get to fight to be the man that you deserve until the day that I die. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes. She's obsessed with Stefan and insanely jealous. 
If she sees anyone making him happy, she won't be able to control herself. So she'll have no choice but to come out of hiding. Your point? My point is, we shove Stefan's happiness in her face. We throw the one party Catherine would never miss. Who doesn't love a wedding? I never got to explain to you why I said yes to stuff. I know why you said yes. You want to spend your life with him. It's part of everything. But the you standing with me right now, the you that's going to marry Caroline Forbes tomorrow, the you that I've known for almost 200 years, you didn't do it. Evil, nasty, ripper stuff. And who knows your girl's not going to have a small, intimate gathering. We are gathered here today to witness the joining of these two epic lovebirds in official matrimony. Stefan has found the woman of his dreams, and he's going to share the rest of his human life with her. Take this lovely woman to be your lawfully wedded wife. I do. And do you, Caroline, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. Caroline, You've been my, my friend, my conscience, my sounding board. You saw light in me when all I saw was darkness. You saved me from despair. You told me once that I would fall madly in love without realizing it. And that's what happened. Day by day, bit by bit, year by year. I remember saying that to you. We were dancing at my prom. It's funny the things we remember out of all the years that go by. I remember how you told me that when I was ready for you, you would be ready for me. I'm ready now. I think a part of me has been ready for this day since the moment I first saw you. The new mystery guy in the hallway at school. I will always remember this moment. A hundred years from now, I will remember this moment for the both of us. the bride, little brother. I heard her, and I will love her forever too. 